Back in the Roaring Twenties and even through the Depression, coal was king in West Virginia. Coal mines grew up. Towns were thriving, just like Welch, West Virginia. Take a ride with me up Route 52 in Southern West Virginia, also known as the Coal Heritage Highway. Hey guys, I am in uh, Blue Well, which is just outside of Bluefield, and then the next town will be Bramwell, and I'm just going to drive up through here on Route 52 in West Virginia, Southern West Virginia, and you know, if you've followed my channel at all, you've seen I've done uh, videos on ghost towns in the West and Nevada and Arizona and California and how they these ghost towns grew up from the gold industry and when the gold ran out or the silver ran out then the people would leave the miners would leave and that is similar situation here on Route 52 that has happened in West Virginia. Uh, now, the coal hasn't run out. It's just that they've quit mining the coal like they used to. Um, and a lot of countries are using our coal. A lot of the coal here would be sent to places like Australia to use for energy and things like that. Like that. So anyway, we're gonna drive down and check out parts of Route 52. I'll let you see what's going on in here.
Now we just left uh, Mercer County, West Virginia, and now we're heading into McDowell County, and uh, that's where you'll see the towns of Welch, which I'm gonna I'm going to, and Welch used to be a thriving very busy town I remember driving through there as a kid and on the way from you know we lived in North Carolina and Virginia and so we would take route 52 that I'm driving on right now all the way to Kermit West Virginia and used to be you know a lot of coal trucks there still are some coal trucks here. There's a few mines that are still open, but the majority of the mines have stopped getting coal. So we're just gonna continue on down through here on my way to Welch. houses were like they used to call them the row houses or something like that and here's where some other used to be this area here is called switchback and a lot of the coal miners lived right on this road right here you can see the remains of the house right there Coal miners, you'd walk home and walk up these steps or drive home and get up these steps to their house. Pretty crazy to see right here along Route 52. And we're now in McDowell County. And uh, 
I'm gonna get back down and walk down the road just a little bit. this road somehow it's not safe over here but I can't see Route 52 is busy busy highway There's where some more houses were. You know, there's a lot of places in this country that have seen hard times many just started in the last couple of years uh, but here it all started back in around 2008 or so when all the coal mines were being shut down Somebody's living there. And perhaps this one too. Obviously that's the kitchen. There's a little bathroom right there and that might have been the, the living room and I think that was a porch. Ugh. Here's the front porch.
It is definitely sad to see. So I'm a, there's a few more houses like this, but it's, it's a, uh, it's tough to see these houses and it's kind of dangerous walking around here. You don't know what you, where you're stepping or whatever. So let's get back to the car. The North Fork High School Blue Demons won an unprecedented and still a record-setting eight consecutive state championships from 1974 through 1981. And this all started about eight years after segregation had ended and Jennings Boyd was appointed the head basketball coach. And Jennings Boyd won 10 state titles overall and had a combined winning percentage of 90% in his 15 years of tournament play. 1985, uh, North Fork was absorbed into Mount View High School.
coming into well In the early 1800s, some frontiersmen moved into this area and they settled in Welch because of its location along the tributaries of the Elkhorn Creek and the Tug Fork. And there were plenty of game and wildlife and obviously fishing. And so people started selling there. In 1873, a geologist named Isaiah Welch came to explore the resources in the area and he found that it had vast amounts of timber and also large seams of coal. Welch's report obviously got the interest of coal entrepreneurs and they moved into the county and the Norfolk and Western Railroad extended their line into Mercer County and McDowell County in order to help, you know, navigate the coal to uh, where it needed to be transported. And so that's when the town started growing up. In 1895, there were 300 residents. By the 1920s, the population had grown to... 3,232. By 1930, the population was 5,376. In 1950, the population grew to 6,600 people. But by 2020, there was only 3,590 people left due to all the people leaving the area due to the lack of jobs. Welch used to be home to many restaurants. There were banks, dance halls, bars. There were all kind of things to do in the town. They even had a really cool movie theater, which actually the town kept, bought the theater, and that was nice. You'll see that in just a minute. Okay, I'm just going to walk around Welch here for a few minutes, check out some of the sights. It's, uh, you know, just driving down through here, there's not a lot that's open. 
Uh, I haven't seen a restaurant yet, so I'm gonna walk and we'll see if we see something. This is cool because they they have a theater which the girl I just talked to she said the city bought the theater out so uh, it's run by the city which is pretty cool and um, it looks like John Wick 4 is going to be showing pretty soon and I'm going to go see that. They do have cupcakes. So you can see the uh, courthouse up here on the hill and uh, Tina and I did a video of, of that shoot, the shootout that went on up here at these courthouse steps. It was over the, the mine wars. So anyway, So the, uh, it was a dispute over the union and non-union workers and uh, it's a big deal back in the day. So check out that video and I'm going to head back in the car and try to find something to eat. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed this drive up Route 52 and um from basically from bluefield to welch and of course route 52 keeps going on way up north through ohio and all that and uh one day i'll drive you through kermit to show you my hometown but it's been fun if you like the video you know what to do, like and subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss any more. And I'm gonna have a lot more coming soon. Take care. You know, <clears throat> the place has hit hard times when the Walmart has closed. You don't see that too often. She thinks I'm a little lazy. I think she's a little crazy. We like summer and we like spring. Watching wrestling in the rain. She ain't shy, she speaks her mind. Tough as nails and smooth as wine We burn hot as kerosene Baby, we got our own thing She ain't skinny and I ain't tall And that don't bother us at all I run naked through the yard She flash every police scar Drinking wine and getting tired And shooting out the damn street lights How does she put up with me? Oh, baby, we got our own thing We got our own uh, we don't need no rain uh, We ain't rich but son of a bitch We're a hillbilly king and queen Life don't seem so hard With you beneath the stars 
Cause they're growing four leaf clovers in the yard. Oh 